What is going on, Panicking Man? Today in this video, we're going to go ahead and talk about how to set up and utilize a brand new free script, the Sinister Aimlock version one all right now to go ahead and download the script as you all know go ahead and click on the google doc which is linked in the description of every single one of my videos and this script is going to be on the seventh page as you all know anytime i add scripts and things it does move but right now it's on the seventh page so once you're on here just right click on this meeting i know everyone's looking for the best scripts so worry no more we got you guys covered click on the first link in the description of every single one of my videos it's going to take you guys over into this podia Currently, we got five tiers. We got the extreme scripts. Okay, this comes with all my scripts. Here's everything that's included in here. Tons of scripts, setup videos. It makes it pretty simple. And again, top five scripts right up here. So you don't have to scroll too much to get the top five best one. Then we also have the ultimate aim assist here. In that tier, you get the aim assist values for a lot of the scripts that you guys just went ahead and seen in the extreme scripts tab. All right. Now, anytime you get a tier that's higher in value, you get all the scripts and the aim assist value as well. All right. Then we got the custom scripts here. This is where we take your exact settings and make you a fully customized script. So you don't really have to adjust too much. And again, that one does take a little bit of time for us to make usually one to three weeks, but we try to get it done fast. All right. And then finally, we do have the legendary tier. Anyone looking for the one-on-one -on -one help. If you're brand new to the Zen, I highly recommend this tier. In this tier, you get on a call with me. We get the Zen best setup for you. I'd recommend you the best scripts and the values. Get it up and running all that good stuff, right? And then finally, we got the lifetime scripts, right? This is going to include everything in here. And again, it's a one-time fee of 250. Again, you guys can go and get that if you're looking to stay a member for a long time, all right? Now, I did go ahead and open up a brand new self ISOR because I know a lot of y'all want just a one-time purchase for all the scripts. That's going to be in the $75 tier. Now, I did open up a $20 a month tier as well. Again, this is per month. And that's going to include some of my best scripts. Again, it's going to be some of like tester scripts that you guys can go and test out. Here's all the 10 best scripts. I'm constantly updating these so you get new ones. And then you got this one with some of the other ones. All right. So a huge shout out to the 4.5K members, man. Currently part of the podium. Appreciate every single one of you guys. Let's go and get back to the video. All right. Media file link. It's going to go ahead and open up right over here just like this. And simply all you do once you're over here, just go ahead and hit download, guys. That's it. Just go and hit download. Soon as you've done that, you'll be able to open it up in your compiler, right? Now, to go ahead and do this, make sure you have your Cronus then update and all that good stuff. And again, everything like that is on this Google Docs. So if you ever are unsure of which is the latest update, just scroll all the way up to the top and I'll leave it right up here in that red, all right? But again, make sure it's updated. Once you've done that, just hit files up here to the top left hand side. Go ahead and press open and then go into your downloads and you'll see Sinister Aim Lock. There we go. And then you can go ahead and press open. All right. As soon as you do, this is what the script looks like. We don't need to adjust anything in here. So we're going to simply just go ahead and press on programmer, press the six little lines over here on the left side that says GPC scripts. All right. As soon as you do, you'll see Notor notorious sinister aim lock. Then you just go ahead and right click and drag and drop into an open slot. For me, I'm going to go ahead and put in my first slot and then make sure y'all press this play button to save the script. All right, press the play button or it will not work. All right, simple as that. Once that's done, what we'll do is go ahead and switch on over into the face cam. Uh, let me go ahead and give you guys a Zen cam as well. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my controller and all you have to do to go ahead and activate the script, very simple, just simply press the right side big blue button and here's what the script looks like. All right, you can see it says Notorious Scripts, Sinister Aim Lock. Now to go ahead and enter the script, very simple. All you do is go ahead and hold LT, then go ahead and press menus right there. All right. So let me go ahead and show it again. If you hold LT and then press the three little lines button. All right. If you're on PlayStation controller, it's simple. It's just L2 and options. Okay. So you hold L2, you go ahead and press options. You're inside the script. Bang. All right. So once you're in here, it's very simple. You can scroll around. First thing I'd click on is options and go ahead and press A on this. And here's your bind layouts and things. So just make sure you match your bind layout to exactly how y'all are playing inside of your game. All right. So for me, I play on tactical, then press right on the D pad again to change things. It's just up or down on the D pad. Right. Then if you press right, it'll take you over to the next mod. You got block rumble. If you didn't want vibrations on your controller profile, resync, all that good stuff's good. Then just simply go ahead and press B. If you're on PlayStation, you just go ahead and press circle. Just press all the same buttons on here. Obviously, they're different on the PlayStation controller, but they're on the same side. Are you press circle, triangle, square, or X, right? You guys get the point. Go ahead and click on sinister. Go ahead and press A on this. 
This is where you'll go ahead and choose your anti-recoil, says it up top. You got options of Notorious AR or Rumble. Notorious AR is by far the best one. So once you select that, go ahead and press A. In here, you'll be able to adjust your values. And to do that, you just simply hold down LT. Up or down is going to increase or decrease values by tens, left or right by ones, all right? Personally, for me, I leave the primary anywhere between 20 to 30. Great for me for every single gun I use in the game, all right? Once you're done, simply press B. Right on the D-pad, you got Notorious AR, more anti-recoil. Turn that one off. Then you got computer vision. This is simply just aim assist, all right? This stuff does not actually mean you have aimbot or anything even close, all right? As we all know, the Zen is just little extra aim assist. If you're bad at the game, it'll definitely help. If you're good at the game, it'll definitely help. But it's no aimbot, all right? You're not going to become some 50 kill games type of guy on Rebirth Island. It's just not how this works. But once you're in here, just select your aim assist. I do aim lock, then go ahead and press A. You can go ahead and select your object shape. Just select whatever in there. It's not that big of a deal. Then always choose cross on detect. Direction enabled. Then you got your ADS and speed. This is your normal aim assist speed and all that good stuff. And as we know, I love to make aim assist videos. So I'm going to go ahead and make a separate aim assist video where I talk about my best values. But these ones in here are pretty darn good. So if you just wanted to leave them on default, you can and you'll be good. So once you're done, press B right on the D pad. Aim lock. Again, more aim assist. You guys can go ahead and test out. You got auto headshot. Again, more aim assist you can test out dance primary i don't know what the hell that is so we're gonna go ahead and press b gun mods this is where your rapid fire burst fire and all these things are going to be and then finally in the others like slide cancel all that good stuff so as you all know i gotta go ahead and turn on the slide cancel bunny hop right prone shot trigger bot drop shot all that good stuff all right so hope you enjoyed this video once you're done adjust every adjusting everything just simply press b and then press B one more time and the script's going to stay saved. All right. So hope you enjoyed. Catch you on the next one. Peace and love, Panda Gang. All right.